Every fan of Steve Universe has a favorite gem, whether it be Pearl, Amethyst, Peridot, Lapis, or even the Diamonds. Personally, mine's Jasper for reasons I'll explain in an upcoming video. But before Jasper, mine was Garnet, and briefly Lapis, but mainly Garnet. I admired what Garnet as a character represented, although stronger than you sums that up pretty well. I love seeing her slowly transition from being reserved and being a strong mentor for Steven to become more engaged in conversation and the world around her. Every time Garnet was on screen, you knew you'd be in for some sort of treat by the end of the scene. Whether that was a hilarious remark or words of wisdom, she always had something to offer. Well, what happened? Why is she no longer my favorite character? Why are you so concerned about a man's opinion on the internet? A lot of people would probably be quick to say Ruby and Sapphire happened. Once Ruby and Sapphire were not only properly introduced into the story, but started making frequent appearances in the series to the point where they could joke about it. We should split up and investigate. <gasps> Ruby and Sapphire! Uh, no. Even if you only count Garnet's appearances from season 2 onwards, they still outweigh Ruby and Sapphire's. But it is very understandable as to why someone would feel that way. When Ruby and Sapphire appears, the show's narrative tends to skew a huge focus onto them and the fact that they're on screen. Whereas Garnet hasn't had an episode focused on her as a star since Friendship in Season 2. You could also argue the answer, but again, Ruby and Sapphire had the spotlight there since it was the story of how they first met. What does Garnet actually do within those flashbacks? Come into existence and then swiftly unfuse, and then comes back into existence again, then goes on a tangent about how she's confused that she likes being who she is. It's sweet and powerful, don't get me wrong, but to say it's a Garnet episode, while isn't incorrect, is overselling it a bit. It's a Ruby and Sapphire episode first and foremost. They are three different characters. Even then, that was still in Season 2, whereas Amethyst and Pearl have both had arcs since then. Amethyst had a continuous string of episodes dedicated to her in the Jasper arc, which was followed up in the Zoo arc and Tiger Philanthropist. Pearl had her Spotlight mini arc and Mr. Greg, which was a huge resolution to the previous episodes, Story for Steven, and We Need to Talk, which was then followed up on and last one out of Beat City, a fan favorite episode. Yet, no love for Garnet. Even her appearances nowadays, she doesn't say or do much unless it's a super crucial episode. Even Amethyst and Pearl can have some good one-liners in the Slice of Life episodes. Now, I understand that the show is not over yet. It still has a good two years or so left in it. So we can't expect every character arc to be touched on and resolved when it's not even finished. Yet, Garnet's supposed to be a main character. She's the first gem they call out in the theme song. Why the lack of love for her? The position she's in puts her character in such a great position for an interesting character arc. A character arc we're going to explore today on Crystal Clear. Really quick, I have some exciting news to share. The round table has its own amino. Isn't that insane? So if you already use Gem Amino or Star Amino or Rick and Morty Amino, you should definitely check out this one. This little shout out isn't sponsored by them by the way. I just think it's really cool. So yeah, check out the App Store, it's available for both iOS and Android. That being said, let's get on with Crystal Clear. Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm your host, Osher Vox. I hope you're doing well. So Garnet, such an underutilized character. I feel she's just as mistreated as Lapis at this current point in time. I have no doubts that this will change for both characters, but as of right now, it just feels wrong. A huge factor into this show's skyrocketing popularity is, well, Garnet. Is she not the character who sings Stronger Than You? The one who the song is about? They spent such a long time building up to the revelation her character is a fusion, and afterwards we got Love Letters, a charming and adorable 11 minutes of pure comedy, the Sardonyx arc, which focused a bit more on Garnet and Pearl's dynamic, and then... nothing. Well, what the hell, Steven Universe? As I said earlier, Amethyst and Pearl both got some character advancement, both in Seasons 3 and 4. Yet, again, nothing for Garnet outside of fusing for plot purposes or if we need that extra dose of fan service. Although, on that note, Three Gems and a Baby did focus on how the gems handle Steven's birth, including Garnet, so I shouldn't forget to factor that in as well. In that regard, Garnet has had one episode since Season 2 that had some spotlight on her. Invigorating. However, I think we can draw together a conclusion of what Garnet's next big arc could be. And really, it'd be more prevalent now than ever. That takes us to our segment, What, How, and Why, where we postulate questions that will become the foundation of our theory. Something I always found interesting about Garnet and her character is that she's the de facto leader of the Crystal Gems. 
After Rose Quartz, for lack of better words, passed on giving birth to and becoming Steven, Garnet was the one deemed most suitable to take Rose's position as leader. For the majority of Season 1, and a few instances from there on out, Garnet plays the role of leader pretty well. Multiple instances. She's seen spreading her wisdom to Steven, and with Pearl's combined efforts, educate Steven on the history of Gem Kind, without spilling too much like the fact that they're war criminals. Yeah, that was pretty important to get out of the way once you think about it. She'd decide who gets what missions. If a mission was too dangerous for Steven, the team's roster, etc. I was really excited to see how Paradise and Labus would be integrated into these missions and react to Garnet's leadership, but uh, we see how that ended up. Even now, there's plenty of moments where she calls the shots and initiates missions, even if it's not as frequent. But since the actual gem missions are so few and far between, so are those moments that originally made Garnet such an important figure. The last time her leadership skills truly shined and was integral to an episode's plot was Mindful Education, where she guided Stevani through her fusion anxiety. That was really the strongest example the show has given when it comes to Garnet being her own character that can coexist with Ruby and Sapphire. You know why? Because they utilized Ruby and Sapphire without Garnet being pushed to the sides. Amazing how that works. There's so much to ask about Garnet's position as leader. Like, how does she become leader? How is she handling the stress of being a leader? Will her leadership skills change? What about her long-lasting fear of Blue Diamond? To answer those questions, we're going to need to form a hypothesis. Ultimately, Garnet is a very flawed character. She acts on impulse in her future vision, rather than analyzing and thinking hard about situation. Steven's dream is a perfect example of this. She was so terrified of her vision, that she couldn't even have been bothered to just inform Steven that Blue Diamond was at the Palakine. Despite her speech in the episode Future Vision, she's still letting herself be one of the many things that could hurt Steven in the long run. This doesn't make Garnet a bad character by any means, and I don't want to get that impression. I love Garnet! She's great, and her flaws only make her that more interesting, which makes me wonder the specifics of her being granted the position as leader of the Crystal Gems. Something I'm really hoping for is a flashback of her and Rose prior to Steven's birth, discussing what will happen once Rose is gone. As now that we have Greg's relationship with Rose shared with Steven and the audience, all of the gem's individual relationships would be a logical next step to take. If Rose and Garnet didn't discuss the decision, then another flashback exploring the aftermath of the gems selling Rose's loss would be in order. With Season 5 upon us, considering the recent events that transpired with humans being abducted, and Steven sacrificing himself and venturing the homeworld, I feel Garnet would be done a huge disservice if she's not given the spotlight, even for just an episode or two. Let's truly examine this from her perspective. She withheld information from Steven that led to Greg being taken to the human zoo by Blue Diamond, something she showed remorse for when saving Steven immediately afterwards. This decision set off a chain reaction that led to Sapphire coming up with a plan to rescue Greg, but ultimately caused Blue and Yellow Diamond to request more humans for the zoo, leading to innocent lives being abducted, and Steven turning himself in. A suicide mission! Garnet would more than likely feel accountable for both of this. One little instance led to her almost never seeing Steven again, and who knows what his decisions on Homeworld may have sparked. For someone who sees into the future, she failed to prevent any of this. All of this happened under her watch. Her leadership. She let Rose down. Again, I want to make it clear, I'm looking at this from her perspective, not actually blaming her, which not only affected her leadership skills that sparked all of this, holding her back, but could also affect her leadership skills in the future. Steven came face to face with Blue Diamond herself, and the possibility of the Crystal Gems having to confront the Diamond Authority is increasingly becoming a reality by the minute. She has to fight her demons, and at the very least attempt to overcome her fears, if she wants to remotely stand a chance against the Diamonds in the future. Garnet's leadership skills only recently began to backfire on her. Until this point, she only dealt with Crystal Gems and assisting Greg in raising Steven. As soon as Homeworld came back around, every encounter of Homeworld resulted in them barely surviving by the grit of their teeth, or just straight up failed. The ending of Room for Ruby still has me dumbfounded. With the story becoming more involved with Homeworld and Space Adventures, I believe Garnet will be forced to confront and evaluate herself and realize this isn't working. I need to improve before things continue to spiral downwards, before the planet gets destroyed. So what's our hypothesis? There will be an arc in the near future focusing on Garnet's leadership, the stress it repodes, and facing her fear of Blue Diamond. This arc will be intertwined with the ongoing threat of Homeworld and tensions of war escalating. This will result in advancing development for Garnet. Well, at least we hope so. It's not set in stone, but again, all of this would make the most sense. Overall, 
While I am frustrated with the whole of Garnet's character development, I do have faith in Akuniverse that this is going to turn right back around fairly soon. She is an amazing character with great potential. Fans of the show need to be reminded just how amazing. If she can overcome her fears and acknowledge where she messed up, showcase that yes, she is still a character and not just a walking advertisement for fusion, I'm sure it'll compensate for her being sidelined for an extensive period of time. I'm also holding out for the hope of some great action scenes with her down the line. As always, these are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. So please, leave them in the comments below. How do you feel about Garnet as a character? Do you agree that she needs to reclaim the spotlight? And do you agree with our analysis of the character? Let's get the discussion going in the comments. If you disagree, let us know why. If you want to get the discussion going beyond the comments, tweet to us at RoundtableVids or me at AustrakVots. If you'd like, be sure to follow the rest of the Roundtable crew while you're at it. Don't forget to download the Roundtable Amino, available for iOS and Android. Also, if you want to support us, consider checking out our Patreon, and if you'd like to get more involved with the community, join our Discord server. The Roundtable crew is fairly active in there. Links to everything in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw it a like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. I hope you have a beautiful day, and Ostrich Fox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.